Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Ultimate General Civil War. We are returning to our Confederate Let's Play of the campaign. In our last couple of videos, we covered the introductory battles as well as the Bull Run campaign and the first battle in the Shiloh campaign in which we seized some Union wagons and uh, were able to, you know, win a, a somewhat bloodless victory in a uh, raid against these Union supplies. Very fitting as well if you consider the Western Theater, which uh, saw numerous large-scale cavalry raids uh, and successful Confederate uh, delays of Union offensives thanks to those cavalry raids. So it makes sense that we were able to do that and had that modeled in this game, and we're in the process of refitting our army before fighting uh, the remaining minor engagements prior to the uh, big daddy of them all, the Battle of Shiloh. Uh, so with that being said, guys, this again is from a live stream which I conducted a couple of days ago. Um, so the audio is from time to time very intensive and from time to time very sporadic. Uh, I hope you guys all enjoy the video. Please feel free to leave comments and what have you in the description below uh, and let me know what you guys think. Um, but uh, I'll just go ahead and get out of the way here and allow us to get back into the audio from the stream. So hope you guys enjoy and... Um, I'll meet you back up at the end of the at the end of the video. Thanks. Um, okay, so I think that's about good. We do need some new names, guys. So we've got Bartos Widows. We've got the Irish Brigade. Um, I could name some of the the Iron Brigade. I know, obviously, not a Confederate unit, but every time I've done that, they've gotten destroyed. So hopefully, these guys survive. And again, this is mainly for when we get into the bigger battles, so I can actually like know who's who. Um, I don't really care as much about the artillery. Mm, let's see here. Okay. Stonewall, Iron, Bartow, Irish. Anyone any have any other suggestions for... Uh, I guess we'll rename Palmer. Let's see here. Do we have any good cavalry commanders in this hunt? It's kind of expensive. It's a good commander, though. Yes, sir. We'll name him... Mosby's Raiders, even though he's not commanded by Mosby. Um, any other thoughts, guys? Ah, we should name one the Regulars. Okay. Well, I guess not U.S., right? Here come the Regulars, boys. All right, so we've got the CSA regulars now. Uh, we've got the Stonewall Brigade, the Iron Brigade. Um, I'm not going to repeat myself all over again. Uh, two more infantry brigades we could name. Butt roamers, really? The Orphan Brigade. All right. I don't know if I can spell that, but whatever. All right, so I think we're about all named out. I don't really feel like naming the artillery. So the next fight that we are going to do is the stay alert fight, um, but I'm going to refill my drink here real quick, guys, so bear with me just a moment. Oh, wait a minute. No, sorry. I've got to... That would probably be fitting for an artillery battery, right? All right, we'll name one after Belugan, the... Uh, the, the good old guy over on BlueGunCampaign.com, big uh, Command Modern Air Naval Operations guy, um, loves nuclear weapons. So um, we'll name one after him. Anyway, um, so I think we're good to go. The next battle is going to be Stay Alert. So it's February of 1862. General Johnston established his base at Corneth, Mississippi in order to reorganize our Western forces. We soon expect Yankee offensives at Tennessee, and we have to be ready. Corneth is a major railroad junction and a strategic supply position. You've been assigned to guard one of our supply lines' vital points, the northwest of Corneth. Okay. Stay alert and prevent any Yankee raid in the area. All right. So the Yankees may raid us. Um, this... Well, actually, what's our reputation right now? What can we do? Sorry, guys. I'm all over the place. Let's see here. Government. So we can... We could... 
I didn't know this. You can use your reputation to get weapons. So we could get some Napoleons with a reputation, some Lorenz Rifles with reputation. We could get Richard Yule, Jubal Early, Jeb Stewart. So quite a few th different things. We're going to wait for a moment because uh, right now our prestige is pretty healthy, but I'm not terribly confident that we're going to win uh, either of the next two battles. This game is pretty difficult, and I think we're in decent shape as is. But you can see here, our fame is growing, and the soldiers will fight for you with increased morale. The government is very supportive of your efforts and can award you with a plenty full of resources if you're in a shortage. Be warned, though, that every time you ask for more, you lower your reputation. The war is not only fought by you, so any extra demands weakens our armies elsewhere. No morale effect. I would think I would get a better morale effect. But anyway, so that's where we're at right now. We may use this to get some some free Lorenz rifles, which are nice, um, or some Napoleons, but um, I don't want to use up all of my 14 prestige to spend, and again, I may need some buffer there if either of the next two fights doesn't go well. We could lose up to 8 prestige here, 15 at Shiloh. Um, I would think if we won at Shiloh, we'd gain more than 10 prestige, but, but anyway, it is what it is. So this is where we're at now. Uh, we're about to go ahead and fight. Stay alert. Let me take a look at the chat. No, guys, I'm not getting anything. We're going in and fighting. Okay, so we can deploy up to 10 brigades. Oh, no. Our army is too large. What does that mean? Um... I don't, I mean, obviously I can only, I can't carry all these troops forward. Uh, it does look like the enemy army at 14,000 and ours at 12, much more even fight, so that's good to see. Um, but I guess I'll hit start and see what happens, right? Our army's established a base at Corinth, Mississippi, a major railroad junction and strategic position for the transportation of troops and supplies. Your post at the northeast of North Corinth is a vital point of our supply line. Our pickets have spotted Yankee cavalry movements a couple of miles north and west of your position. You have to prepare for a potential attack. I like how the terrain changes based on where you are. Reinforcements have already been dispatched from Corneth and are on their way to assist you if needed. Stay alert, we can't afford a broken link in our supply chain. So it looks like I can only deploy up to six units initially. Um... <sighs> So, I don't like... I, it's interesting. They've got a very Total War look to the way that the box shows up on here and where you kind of spawn. But what I don't really like is kind of this, how small an area you have to deploy is. I'm not quite sure where the enemy's going to come from, though, right? So, I guess we can put one... Put two brigades facing north... Because again, we have I, I, I thought it seemed to indicate to me that they'd be coming from this direction. And then we can put oops. Put some of these guys on this road here. They've got decent cover if they do that. What if we What if we move them forward here? No. But from here they do. They've got reasonable cover from here. So I guess we'll leave them here, and then whoops, no cover here. Um, why don't we do this? Let's see. Is there some cover here? Thirty. What about behind the railroad track? No. Okay, so not great cover. Anywhere along this line. A little bit more here in the south. So Bartos is really going to be the isolated one. He's going to be the one at risk here. And then we're going to put this artillery here. Again, to kind of close, the, close our lines basically with artillery. Supply wagon in the rear. We've only got one battery of artillery, but it looks like we've got reserves coming up from this direction. We can always shift. This may be a terrible setup, but I was trying to keep guys in the woods. I can always swing Stonewall left if I have to. Um, but that's that's the layout here. I thought, again, it said the con Union was coming this direction. So we've kind of formed ourselves up in a little bit of a sloppy L uh, with some troops here on the south guarding our approach of our reinforcements. And we've got all six brigades ready to deploy. So let's go ahead and fight. We'll see where the Yanks really are. Could use some cavalry here.
And remember, guys, Bartow's job is to die, right? That's like his job in our military, his forces. Is, that's why they're called Bartow's Widows. There we go, some defensive positions. I don't know why I couldn't occupy those to start. So you can see here, there's a little shield, and when you right-click on it, these guys form up behind this fence, which gives them much greater cover. The same for the Iron Brigade, forms up behind this fence and then refuses their right, which actually makes a really nice fish hook into into our position here. And actually, in that case, I'm just going to pull the Irish Brigade back, and they'll they'll guard our flank here. So I really like the way you can click your unit in and select him in on an individual fence. Yankee Cavalry over here. But I really like how you can, you know, kind of tie yourself in with a geographic uh, or a, uh, a position by just right-clicking on it. That makes it so easy to just make sure your troops are properly properly formed up uh, on a, a formation. You know, I'm obviously I'm a big fan of the um, of the Take Command games, uh, having played Take Command a lot, playing Scourge of War, been part of the Scourge of War Waterloo game, but one thing that I wish we had as a feature was the ability to just right-click on, like, a fence and, and kind of glue your unit to that fence. That, I think, would add a lot. So enemy cavalry coming up. Actually, I actually think that's the wrong side of the fence. They're going to be facing the wrong direction. So enemy cavalry here. You can see Mosby's Raiders are coming up. We're going to just send them right into charge. It looks like Mosby's Raiders, that one regiment all by itself, has sufficient forces to, or is, is larger than any, all of the other Union cavalry units combined. So we are not going to, we're not going to pay for our mistakes last time. You know, we're going to realize, hey, we had these, we had these problems last time around and we didn't we didn't act aggressively enough so we're gonna go in and we're gonna just charge straight into these guys and deal them a blow right off the bat rather than waiting and paying for being overly timid we're gonna go aggressive to start and that looks like it worked out a bit so we just wiped out one of the federal cavalry units Mosby, kind of reform, please, so we can go after these guys. Please don't retreat off the map. Come on, Mosby, recover! You just won a great victory. There you go. So our skirmishers and troops are coming up behind them. Oh, shit. So I actually had my troops in a pretty good position here in the woods, although we did pull back behind this fence line, so we've got a, a little bit of a natural defensive position here as large numbers of Yankees come up. I don't know what what the best course of action is. I think I'm going to send these guys over this way. And they're going to run. So we'll put these guys in the woods. Stonewall's brigade's already in the woods, and fortunately they're my strongest brigade with the Lorenz rifles. So you can see here, look at these kills to death ratio. They definitely have better weapons than these Union. The Union outnumber by almost a thousand men, and yet they're, they're inflicting substantially more casualties on them than they're receiving. So we're going to send Mosby in to charge again at these Union cavalry. Hopefully he can wipe out another brigade as our reserves come up. Another melee occurring there. You can see Ingersoll is routed. And it looks like, you know, I, I gave him lock and pistols and sabers, but these are actually much more effective in charging the enemy than, um, than traditional weapons, so like, or traditional guns. So if we had firearms, for example, if we had, like, sharps carbines, they'd be better at fighting the enemy, but they wouldn't be better at, um, you know, charging the enemy. So melee, you get a big bonus. Oh, shoot. But you don't get a bonus uh, in terms of, oh my god, I can't think and play. Um, this is why I'm not a very good streamer, guys. Sorry about that. Come on, Ingersoll, get off the map as casualty, or as, uh, as prisoners. So you can see here the Federals are moving 2,000 men in behind us. 
Irish Brigade's in the woods. They've got good defensive positions. And uh, the Stonewall Brigade is holding out versus large numbers of troops. You guys are going to need to shift your fire. Okay, there you go. Move the CSA regulars in here. The Iron Brigade's kind of in a risky situation tied to this fence. Actually, it might not be a bad idea to move this artillery over here, kind of in the gap. We'll move the Orphan Brigade over here. I guess our cavalry got off the map. So Mosby's raiders are doing okay. Oh. So you can see here another 2,000 men coming up behind us. I don't think there's anything here weak enough that we can just charge. It's not like this is the Napoleonic Wars where you can just charge straight forward and be okay with cavalry. But I'll scout around. There are some enemy horsemen over here, so we'll see if we can go after... Oh wait, we'll charge these guys. More enemy skirmishers that we can wipe out easily and, and round up. And again, if we had weapons, if we, or if we had rifles, we would not be doing this well. You can see these guys just plummeting. And we would not be doing anywhere near this well in melee versus, uh, versus if we had rifles as our weapons. So that's kind of a trade-off of cavalry, right? You didn't really see cavalry be used in the traditional... Oh my god, Stonewall. Be used in the traditional sort of sense in the Civil War. Stonewall's melting away. He's doing... He's giving good. You can see these Lorenzas, despite being heavily outnumbered, they're inflicting a lot of casualties on the enemy. And actually, we've got a few units that are doing very well uh, kill ratios. We're going to move the Foreign Legion away from these uh, this fence and get them up toward, you know, the Irish Brigade to give them some support. The Irish Brigade's suffering, and I think these guys are still using smoothbores. Oh, yep, they are. Okay, so we've got to hold for two more hours, folks. This All right, I'm going to try and take out Johnson with Mosby's raiders. Come on, guys. I know you can barely see him, but get over there. Deal with these enemy cavalry. The less skirmishers and cavalry we have to worry about, the better. Yikes, Stonewall's taken... Taking punishment. Alright, so we drove back one of those federal batter brigades. That should help a bit. As these guys stream toward the rear. I don't know if we can charge through rough terrain, though. Up a hill and into the woods. Well, it looks like they'll listen to the order. Oh, there's two enemy cavalry units back there. As we take a volley... Looks like they can fire and on the run pretty well. They must either have pistols or carbines of some kind. They're going to exhaust themselves, aren't they? We'll see. They're kind of going off the edge of the map there. All right, I'm pulling the irregulars back. We're going to move these guys over to the flank. There you go. The lovely little click and drag feature of this game is awesome. Stonewall, come on, hang in there, guys. Hang in there. Bring some supply up for some of these other guys. These guys probably are all still in supply, but some of the other ones aren't. Oh. So our cavalry is meleeing these Federals. You guys might have carbines, but you don't have sabers. Take that. Wipe out these guys. Mosby's probably about to retreat. Involved in a traditional saber-on-saber <laughs> -saber cavalry fight. Federals are charging. Melee about to... Result. Some nice 
At least these CSA regulars are kind of going to be on the flank, right? And so are these skirmishers, so... Fighting at point-blank range and outnumbered, but... Chew these Federals up. Come on, guys. Reload. Get a volley off. There you go. Point-blank range volley. Wow, I'm surprised that didn't have more of an effect. Stonewall's in the middle of a... Fight, a melee, himself. Even though it's not really Stonewall, but I keep calling him that. This brigade is losing heavily, damn. Alright, so holding again. These Lorenzes are worth their weight in gold, it seems. Meanwhile, Barto is just kind of. Just kind of chilling back, just hanging back there, guys. Just like, whatever. You guys having a good time? Mosby's retreating, really? Hmm. So far, it seems like the fight's gone reasonably well. I've got one brigade. I've got Bartos widows, kind of in reserve, if you will. We're gonna move them up to deal with. We're going to deal with... Come on, guys. I'm going to move them up to deal with hair. Stonewall's a little bit more distantly engaged, but I'm going to kind of let him relax. He's lost about a third of his force. So he needs to sit back for a bit. Orphan and CSAs. Hanging in there. Charge, Johnston! Get to him, boys! There you go. Melee. Melee for all your worth. Finish off these Federal Cavalry. They had three battered brigades of cavalry, by the way. Oh no, Powell. These guys are low on ammo. Where's our wagons? Okay, there you go. Just routed that those Yankee Cav. They're pulling back for sure. These guys are in really good condition, actually. So let's do this. Let's move these guys over on the flank. So if we can get in on their flank, there we go. Drive them back. I hear someone say retreat. So almost all the Federal Cavalry is gone, entirely thanks to Mosby. Let's take a look and see if the howitzers are efficient. So we can see this gun battery is 6 pound smoothbore, so they're at 268 casualties inflicted to 7. Um, where's our other battery of artillery? Belugan's best. They've taken a few casualties, they've inflicted over 300. They're closer to the enemy though, so it's hard to really gauge. Oh, those are Napoleons, so I don't think we have our, our other smoothbores. We haven't brought them forward yet. Stonewall, looks like they're still firing at a bit of a distance. I don't want them to vanish into nothingness, especially with the Lorenzes that we've given them, so we'll kind of let them relax a little bit. I'm going to move the Iron Brigade forward, though, to deal with this Tuttle's Brigade, give the regulars a little bit of support. They're doing really well, 300 to 80. They're using good old-fashioned Springfields. Okay, so if they're going to turn to face the cavalry, they're going to expose their flank. I am more than okay with that. I don't know if that's an AI bug or what, but we'll just ride around their flank, let them wheel to face us, and hopefully we can keep ahead of their volley. They're going to give us their rear! Really? Oh, 
<laughs> just shot into the okay. These idiots just all right, we'll turn around. That's all good. Oh wait, we still got enemy cavalry over here. Well, that was nice of them. So hopefully our skirmisher oh wow, they're taking fire. Taking fire and Mosby's running. And they're gonna Nope. Yes, we routed the cavalry before they could run back. It's okay guys. This this route is clear. These guys are done. So the enemy has no more horsemen. When that flag disappears, that means that you've you've beaten them and they're not coming back. As long as this little icon means here, there's a chance they'll, they'll rally. But if the icon disappears, nope. So we'll go ahead and pull the cav back. You can see the foreign legions charging hair off the map. Bartow and the Irish are engaged in the woods there. Stonewall's also engaged. They're just out of range, so I think they need to close up a bit on Tuttle. Every time we hear the, the name Tuttle, I think of uh, that baseball movie with Kevin Costner. Was it uh, For Love of the Game? Not a particularly good movie, but still can't help but think about it. We're going to go for their other supply convoy, too, here. So we are holding strong, guys. I think this battle is going well, if... Uh, I don't mind saying myself, saying so myself. Got about 48 minutes left. Not real-time minutes, but about 48 minutes left. I've gotten my just my ass handed to me most of the fights here. Kind of barely hung on in Bull Run and seemed about appropriate. You know, seemed historically accurate, if you will. Charge these guns. Oh boy, loaded up with canister and all. Maybe we should have pulled Mosby back. But we'll do some damage to these federal guns. Just see them melt away there. Although we're not going to survive very long under Confederate uh, or Yankee canister fire from two, bat two massed batteries. No. Okay, the enemy enemy's retreating, but we can't charge for a little while longer still, so we'll we'll pull ourselves oh boy. Get out of the way of these infantry. I don't want my raiders to all die. We've got about a third of them left. They're still an effective brigade, but if they if their little map goes away, they'll disintegrate into nothing, and then they won't uh if their little flag goes away, they'll dis disintegrate into nothing. Trying to weave between these Yankee. Oh no, they're dead. Oh, we just lost them. They did so well. Mosby's Raiders, you did so well in this fight. Uh, I don't think there's any chance of rescuing them. It's unfortunate. These guys are low on ammo. We need that supply wagon over there now. The Irish Brigade is not doing, not doing great. You guys have 100% conditioning. We're going to run you around their flank. Where are they flanked from? Halt. Oh, from the artillery over here. Give them the cold steel, boys. Give them the cold steel. An entire volley near their flank kills like two guys because they're in the woods. I wish you could. Can you double, double quick these guys? Doesn't look like it. Pretty much out of ammo, so foreign legion's gonna just charge them, right? They've inflicted three to one casualties. Wow. I'm really happy with my guys this round. They've done a very good job. We'll keep the supply wagon back of these guys. Almost out of supply, too, so. 
Iron Brigade looks like they got pushed back. Oh, Irish Brigade's going full on charge. Nice. So these Federals are pushed up against a river being charged by Confederates. Alright. Meanwhile, we're going to have these CSA regulars. Okay. I kind of left some of these forces back here. The cavalry did their job. I'm just kind of sad that I got them all killed. So we're going to charge these infantry toward these guns as they eat some canister fire. Hopefully we can destroy both these batteries. That's my objective anyway. God damn it. There you go. You push Tuttle back. Wow, it's amazing how much better cavalry is versus artillery pieces than infantry are. You'd think outnumbering them five to one, they'd melt away pretty quick, but you can see this number's dropping ever so slowly. We would have been better just standing off and firing volleys, because now we're going to... There you go. I was going to say we're about to about to receive four guns of canister right in our flank. And we just did. So that's worth, worth noting. Okay, so the battle looks to be over. Victory! There you go. 12,000 enemy, 11,000 of us. We lose 2,700 men, as well as one gun and 47 men, 500 cavalry. They lose 600 cavalry, 11 guns, so 11 times our guns, uh, 100 more cavalry, 200 plus missing more than us, almost double our infantry. Uh, the enemy definitely took a beating that battle. Our officers, you can see Vernon Morris, Jerry Brown, and Virgil Pegram, I don't even know who these guys are, all get promoted. And uh, Javier Marsh and Robert Ingersoll are wounded. Uh, goods captured. We res rescued some of our weapons from our cavalry or Springfields. Looks like the only stuff we really captured was a few Springfield uh, Sharps models and a couple of 10-pound ordnance rifles. Nonetheless, it's yet another victory for us. Sees our prestige or reputation grow by another four, an extra 400 recruits thanks to uh, some prisoners exchanged and another 90,000 uh, weapons uh, in terms of money. So we need to do some replacements here before we uh, return to the ever so uh, iconic battle of Shiloh, which is the next coming up. But let's take a look here. Let's replace our losses. So 1842s, we've got weapons in the armory sufficient to replace these. It'll cost us a little bit of money, but not much. So go ahead and we'll replace Bartos Widows. You can choose to do it with either uh, rookies, which is a little bit cheaper, or, or veterans. We'll do veterans to maintain our experience. Uh, that's 35, so yes, keeps the experience exactly on par when you do veteran replacements. Um, so we're going to do replacements. Okay, we can give them a skill. I get it. We can, we're going to do replacements for the Irish Brigade. And we're going to also give them a skill, which I think is going to be discipline. That's plus 5 morale and efficiency. Um, you can see here the bonus here as this goes up a little bit. And 400. So again, we're going to kind of keep that the same. Yes, and I'll worry about upgrading guns here shortly. So we can do logistics, which gives us more ammo and efficiency. We can do physical training, more stamina and efficiency. Or discipline, more morale and efficiency. We'll do discipline. I'm a big fan of discipline. I might be the... Um, I very may well be the Braxton Bragg of our group. Man, those Lorenzos are expensive to replace their casualties. Um, but it seems like we've got quite a few. Let's see here, Alvin Palmer. Yes, got one Napoleon in the shop that we can replace our losses with. Just one. But we'll do it. And then our skirmishers lost pretty badly. Firearms, reloading, accuracy. Less accuracy, really? 
Efficiency, stamina, speed, or morale. I guess I'll go with discipline again. Discipline is the the name of the game, at least yeah. apparently in my book. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this stream. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, we were able to win another victory against the Union armies. So far things are going pretty well for General Turner Hill Garnett. And uh, in this uh, video we finished up the remaining Western campaign scenarios. In the next video we will go ahead and jump into the actual Battle of Shiloh. Uh, but thus far we've built a very strong first core of the army of... I don't know, whatever army this is, the army of me. And, um, yeah. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, hope you guys are enjoying the streams. Feel free to leave comments in the description below. I try to answer all of them. And until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying thank you for watching, and I'm out.